All right, so lesson 32 is on expanded notation and more on elapsed time. So our first one is write 27,000 in expanded notation. To do this, we need to write out the different place values. So our first place value here is the 2, and that's in the 10 thousandths place. So to write that portion in expanded notation, we're going to write 2 times 10,000, okay? Now we need to add the next place value, which is the 7 here, so it's going to be plus 7 times, and it's in the 1,000th place, so it's going to be 7 times 1,000, okay? And that's how you write it in expanded notation. Now if you look, the rest of the numbers um, are zero, so we don't have to write those out because we don't need to include those. Okay. So on this next one, we have it already written in, in expanded notation. We now need to write it in standard notation. So to do that, we need to look at each one. So we have 5 times 1,000, so that's going to be 5,000. Okay, put the comma in. 2 times 100 is 200. And then 8 times 10 is 80. And we know we're not going to have anything in the ones place because we don't have anything um, up here in the standard notation, in the expanded notation, to tell us what the ones place would be. Okay, so this next section is on the elapsed time. This one's a little bit diff more difficult because it has to deal with time instead of years. So just to remind you, the equation will be uh, the later time minus the earlier time. Okay, and that'll give us our difference. So on this one, Jason started the marathon at 7.15. He finished the race at 11.10 a.m. How long did it take him to run the marathon? So we need to do uh, the later time, which is 11.10. So 11.10 minus the earlier time which is 7.15. Now the next tricky part is we, instead of just um, subtracting just by like the ones place and the tens place, we'll actually need to subtract all of the minutes together. Now we cannot take 15 away from 10, so what we need to do is we need to borrow from this one. So just like normal, we would cross this out and that would become a zero. Okay, so it's now 10 o'clock. But instead of just adding a one here, one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So I need to add 60 minutes to this amount because this is my minutes section. So 10 minutes plus 60 minutes is the same as 70 minutes. So I'm going to rewrite this, I'm going to erase it and rewrite it, as it's going to be 10, 70. Okay. Now I can subtract. So I'm going to do, erase that, I'm going to do 70 minus 15. Okay. Now we can do it this way. So that becomes a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. This becomes a 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. Okay. So we have 55 minutes. And then 10 minus 7 is 3. So it took that took him took him 3 hours and 55 minutes to run the marathon. Okay. The biggest thing to remember is you could when you borrow from your hours, you have to add 60 minutes to your minutes column. Okay. And that's it. Thanks for watching.